بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله uh, This is chapter 10 and it's about conic sections and analytic geometry uh, There are four conic sections As you can see these four curves result from the intersection of a right circular cone and a plane So this is a right circular cone and when intersected by a plane we could get an ellipse like this, or a circle, uh, a parabola, like in this case, and a hyperbola. So these four conic sections, uh, we studied the circle before. This is the circle, and the equation of the circle is, is this one where H and K is the center and the radius is R. So it's a square root of R square. If the center has zero, zero, if the center is zero, zero, then the equation of the circle is X square plus Y square equals R square. And if you uh, expand the square, you get the general form of the equation of the circle like this. And you notice that the coefficient of x square and the coefficient, the coefficient of y square is equal. It is here one, but you can multiply by any number. We will need this formula, how to find the distance between two points in the plane. So this is the formula change in x square plus change in y square under the square uh, roots. The first section is about the first conic section we are talking about the ellipse in section 10.1. This is the definition of the ellipse. An ellipse is the set of all points p in a plane. So it's a collection of points that satisfy this condition now, sum of whose distances from two fixed points is constant. That's the definition of the ellipse. So for example, this point P is a point on the ellipse. Why? Because the distance from P to F1 plus the distance from P to F2 is equal to constant. And also this P is a point on the ellipse because the distance from P to F1 plus the distance from P to F2 equals the same constant. These two points F1 and F2 are called the foci, plural of focus. So one focus, two foci. The midpoint of the segment connecting the foci is the center. So the center is is here. You, we connect the two foci and the midpoint is the center. This is the center and the center would be called in general H and K like the center of the circle. So whenever you need to find the center you find the midpoint and the midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2. So you add the x-coordinates, divide by 2, and you add the y-coordinates and divide by 2, you get the center, hk. So, this is an ellipse. This is a horizontal ellipse. You need to understand these uh, points. What do we call each one of them? These two points are the vertices, plural of vertex. And these two points are the endpoints of the minor axis because this is the minor axis. This line is called the minor axis. These two points are the, in, the endpoints of the minor axis. This line is the major axis and you can see why we call it axis because it's an axis of symmetry. So the ellipse is symmetric about these two lines. So this one is the major axis and this one is the minor axis. And you notice that the end points of the major axis are the vertices. And the midpoint of the vertices is the center. 
and of course the, the, the foci are here. So on the major axis, we have the vertices and the foci, okay? The center is uh, in the minor axis. It appears on, it is the intersection point between the minor axis and the major axis. This is another kind of ellipse. This is, we call this a vertical ellipse. Why we call it vertical? Because the major axis is vertical. So here the major axis is horizontal. So this is a horizontal ellipse. The major axis is vertical. This is a vertical ellipse. The endpoints of the major axis are the vertices. The endpoints of the minor axis are these two points. And uh, this is the center. The foci will be here in this case, the two foci. Uh, now, the distance from the center to the vertex is called A. So the distance from the vertex to the center, we will always call it A. So even here, the distance from the center to the vertex is called A. And the distance from the center to the endpoint of the minor axis, one of the endpoints, is B. So this here, this distance is B. You need to understand this information very carefully. So you can see here that always A is greater than B in the horizontal ellipse and in the vertical ellipse because A is the distance from the center to the vertex. The distance from the center to one of the foci is called C. Okay, so the distance from the center to the focus here is called C. And you can see that A is greater than B and C. So in fact, the relation between uh, a, B, and C is this one. A square equals B square plus C square. And we use this relation to find the coordinates of the foci. So the foci here, C would be equal to square root of A square minus B square. Okay. Notice that A, B, and C are positive numbers because they are distances. Now, if you use the definition of the ellipse, that the sum of these two distances is constant, then you can find the standard form of the equation of an ellipse with center 0, 0. So if the center is 0, 0, then this is the equation of the horizontal ellipse. And this is the equation of the vertical ellipse. x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is 1. While here the same equation but a squared is beneath y squared. Why is that? Because here, look, A is greater than B in the horizontal ellipse. And A lies on the x-axis. So A would be below x square here, and B below y square. So the equation of this ellipse would be x square over A square plus y square over B square equals 1. While here, A is on the y-axis. So the equation of this ellipse would be x squared over B, because B lies on the x-axis, B squared, plus y squared over A squared, because A lies below y equals 1. And that's how to differentiate between the horizontal ellipse and the vertical ellipse. So look to the denominators. If you find a greater number below x, then it's a horizontal ellipse. If the greater number is below y square, then it is a vertical ellipse. And this is, as we mentioned, the relation between a square, b square, and c square. a square is c square plus b square, or c square is a square minus b square. So here, this is the horizontal ellipse. 
a square is greater than b square and a square lies on the x-axis, a lies on the x-axis. These are the coordinates in this case. The center is 0, 0. We said that this distance is c between the center and the, vert the focus. So the coordinates of these two points would be c0, negative c0. The distance from the center to the vertex is a. So the coordinates of the vertices would be a0, negative a0. The center, the distance from the center to the endpoints of the minor axis is b. So the coordinates would be 0, b, 0, negative b. If you want to find the major axis, the length of the major axis, for example, this is the major axis from this vertex to this vertex. This is A and this is A. So the length of the major axis is 2A and the major axis is horizontal here. In the vertical ellipse, the major, the length of the major axis is also 2A because the distance now, this is A now, okay? While the major axis is vertical. The coordinates of the vertices would be 0, A, 0, negative A, because two points on the y-axis. On the x-axis, on the x-axis, we have the endpoints of the minor axis, negative B0, B0, and the foci here would be 0, C, 0, negative C. The distance from the center to the focus is C. The distance from the center to the endpoint of the minor axis is B. The distance from the center to the vertex is A. A square is B square plus C square. These are very important information. It will enable you to answer the two questions, the two main questions about the ellipse. What are the two main questions? The first question, he will give you the equation of the ellipse. So this is the equation of the ellipse. And what do we need? We need to graph the ellipse and locate the foci. And by understanding the information we talked about, this is a very easy, uh, it's very easy to solve the question, the example. Why? Because immediately you see that the center here is 0, 0, because this is on the form x square over a square, y square over b square equals 1. And you notice that a square is greater than b square, so a here is square root of 9, which is 3, and b is square root of 4, which is 2. Anyway, you don't have to find a and b. To graph the ellipse, you put the center 0, 0. And then below x square, you have 9. So you go 3 units, square root of 9, 3, which is a. 3 units to the right and to the left because it's below x square. So you go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 on the x-axis. And now you reach the vertices. These are the vertices of the ellipse. And two units, square root of four, two units up from the center and two units down. And this would be the endpoints of the minor axis. And you connect, you, you sketch the graph of the ellipse. So this is the graph of the ellipse. Very easy. And you can write all the information. Any information you, you need, you can write it. L like... What are the coordinates of the vertices, for example? He did not ask. But anyway, if you want the vertices, this vertex is 3, 0. This vertex has coordinates negative 3, 0. So vertices has coordinates positive, negative 3, and 0. In points of the minor axis, 0, 2, and 0, and negative 2. Length of the major axis, 6. Length of the minor axis, 4. Center, 0, 0. What about the foci? Well, to find the foci, I need to find C. And C is the distance from the center to, to the focus. How to find C? C square is A square minus B square. So immediately you subtract the larger number here minus the smaller number. So 9 minus 4 will give you C square immediately. So C would be square root of 5. And square root of 5 is just 2.2. So notice that the foci are on the major axis. This is a horizontal ellipse. So 2 point something, 2.3, it's here. 
this is the first focus and this is the second focus okay so these are the two foci the coordinates of the foci are positive and negative square root of five and zero because the two foci lie on the x axis so this is the graph and these are the foci please do the same here you can see that this is a horizontal let me sketch it quickly so immediately to graph the ellipse the center is zero zero this is 36 one two three four five six to the right three four five six to the left these are the two vertices this is nine one two three up from the center one two three down these are the endpoints of the minor axis connect the points this is the graph of the ellipse as simple as that to find the 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 the, the foci c square is 36 minus 9 okay immediately so it's 27 so c would be square root of 27 and square root of 27 is 3 times square root of 3 and it's 5.2 so 1 2 3 4 5 Point two. So here, these are the two foci, and the coordinates of the foci are positive and negative three, square root of three, and zero. So this is the answer to the question. Graph each ellipse, and let us do it quickly. Immediately plus, this is an ellipse. The center is zero, zero. 16, I go one, two, three, four to the right, one, two, three, four to the left. 1, 2 up, 1, 2 down, and sketch the graph of the ellipse. That's the ellipse. To find the foci, c square is 16 minus 4, which is 12. So c is square root of 12, which is 2 square root of 3, and that's 3 point something. 1, 2, 3, 3.5 here and here. And the coordinates of the foci would be plus or minus 2 square root of 3 and 0. So this is also a horizontal ellipse. Notice here now, 36 is greater than 9, so we will have a vertical ellipse. Anyway, you put the center 0, 0. Below x, I have 9, so I go 3 units to the right, 3 units to the left, and below y square, I have 36, so I go 6 units up and 6 units down. And this is the ellipse. I connect these points, and this would be the graph of the ellipse. Okay, the foci would be on the major axis this time, on the y axis. And c square is as usual 36 minus 9, the greater minus the smaller. So it's a 27. So c is a 3 square root of 3. So the foci would be in this case. Uh, 3 uh, square root of 27 is 3 square root of 3, which is 5.2. So it's somewhere here and somewhere here. And the coordinates are 0 this time because they are on the y-axis. So x is 0, but y is plus or minus square root 3 square root of 3. This is These are the coordinates of the foci. Here, do the same, please. I leave it for you as an example, okay? Uh, I can give you immediately the, the C. C is square root of 64 minus 25, so it's the square root of 39. And if here, uh, this is a vertical ellipse because 64 is greater than 25, so the coordinates, this would be the coordinates of uh, the foci it would be a vertical ellipse okay now the second part of questions second type of questions about ellipse uh, no it is the same sorry that's the same question graph and locate the foci but here he did not give you the equation written in the standard form you remember the standard form is x square over plus y square over uh, equals 1, either a square, b square, or uh, b square, a square. These are 
the standard form. This is the standard form of the equations of the ellipse. But here I do not have one here and it is not written x squared over something. So what to do? How to change it to the standard form? Well, the idea is make the right hand side one. The right hand side here is 40. It has to be one. So what to do? I should divide all the terms by 400. So when you divide all the terms by 400, just write in the calculator 25 over 400. You get one over 16. So this is x squared over 16. And here, just write 16 over 400. You get one over 25. And this would be one. So this would be the equation of the ellipse, and you can continue as usual. The center is 0, 0, 4 units to the right, 4 units to the left, 5 units up, 5 units down, and sketch the graph of the ellipse. And the foci, C is square root of 25 minus 16, that's 9. So C is 3, so the foci has coordinates 0, plus or minus 3, because this is a vertical ellipse. So here, the foci. These are the two foci. The same, I divide by 1, 44. Okay, to make it 1, 16 over 144 is 1 over 9, and 9 over 144 is 1 over 16. It doesn't have to be like this, you know. Uh, he, he could write any numbers here, okay? So it doesn't have nine to be 9 and 16 like this, equals 1. And it would be a vertical ellipse, uh, center 0, 0, Please sketch the graph and find the loca and locate the foci. Graph each ellipse and locate the foci. Well, here this equation is not written in the in the standard form. So the first thing to do is to take four y square to the other side and leave this leave one here in this side. And now this side is one, but I have four here. I don't have, it should be y squared over something. So what to do? I simply write it as x squared plus y squared over 1 over 4. This 4, you can write it down as 1 because 1 over 1 over 4 is actually equal to 4, isn't it? So I write it 1 over 1 over 4 equals 1. So here in this case, I have 1 below x squared. So this is a horizontal ellipse. This would be a horizontal ellipse. I go one unit to the right. So this is one unit. And I go half square root of one over four, which is half square half units to up and down. And I graph the ellipse. So this is the ellipse. The center is zero, zero. And C square would be 1 minus 1 over 4, which is 3 over 4, and C would be square root of 3 over 2, and the foci would be here, okay? So the foci are plus or minus square root of 3 over 2 and 0. These are the coordinates of the foci. And this is uh, 0.9, okay? This is uh, approximately 0.87 or 9, 0.9. So this is how to deal with when you when you have number here four, okay? When this is one, this is easy. Divide by hundred, and you will have x square over four plus y square over twenty five equals one. And please continue. Here, this is also easy if we divide by. 64, we will get x squared over 16 plus y squared 
over 4 equals 1 and please continue this is a horizontal ellipse here I have to write it 7x squared plus 5y squared equals to 35 and then I divide by 35 to make the right hand side 1 so I will have x squared over 5 plus y squared over 7 equals 1 and now to sketch the graph the center is 0 0 and I go square root of 5 to the right and the square root of 5 is 2.2 2. so 1 2 3 so this is these are the end points of the minor axis because 7 is greater than 5 so this is a vertical parabola while square root of 7 is 2.6 so 1 2 3 I go to here 1 2 3 so I go to here okay and I sketch the graph of this ellipse you see it's it's closer to a circle here because a is closer to b so A here is square root of 5, uh, 7, sorry, while B is square root of 5. What about the, the foci? Well, C here uh, is square root of 2, 7 minus 5. So the foci would be on the y-axis. So the vertices that would have, uh, foci, sorry, will have coordinates 0, plus or minus square root of 2. Now comes the second part of the questions. Here he will give you some information and he will ask you to find the standard form of the equation of the ellipse. Okay, We need the equation. The equation is not given like here. The equation was given in the previous questions and he asked you to graph. But now no. I need the equation. I'll give you some information and I need the equation. And this is also very easy. The, and the first thing I'll do, I'll graph the information he gave to me. So the foci 1, 0, negative 1, 0. This is negative 1, 0. This is 1, 0. What do I understand from here that these two points are the foci? I immediately understand that the center is 0, 0 because the center is at the midpoint between the two foci. And also, I understand that C is 1, okay? What is C? The distance from the center to, to the focus. So let me write here not to confuse center and keep C for the distance from the, verti the focus to the center. What else? The vertices. So the vertices, this is 2 and this is negative 2. These are the two vertices. Good. What is the distance from the center to the vertex? It's A. So A is 2. So I have A and C. What is the relation between A and C? Well, B square is A square minus C square because A square is larger than both of them. So A square is 4. C square is 1. Uh, so B square is 3. So what is the equation of the, the ellipse? Immediately, I have X square plus Y square equals to 1. What is below X square? Well, the vertices, the distance is 2, so 2 square is 4, that's a square, and b square is here, which is 3. So a square below x square because it is a horizontal ellipse, and uh, 3 below y square, b square because it's a horizontal ellipse. So this is the answer, x square over 4 equals plus y square uh, over 3 equals 1. Okay, let us sketch the information for psi 2 and negative 2 so c is 2 center immediately is 0 0 vertex is 3 so a is 3 so b square is a square minus b square so it minus c square so it's 5 so the equation is center is 0 0 equals 1 Below x square, I have this distance, 3. 3 squared is 9, and b squared is 5. So x squared over 9 plus y squared over 5 equals 1. This is the equation. Find the standard form of the equation of this ellipse. 
Well, this is a vertical ellipse, and immediately I can write the equation x square plus y square equals 1. What is below x? 1. So 1 square is 1. What is below y? 2. So y square, 2 square is 4. That's it. That's immediately the answer. Did he say, yeah, locate the foci? Okay, locate the foci. C square is what? 4 minus 1, which is a 3. So the foci uh, has, have, has coordinates 0 plus or minus square root of 3, 1.7. So these are the two foci. Find the standard form of the equation of each ellipse. Good. Foci, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, this is the focus. So C is 5. Vertices, 6, 7, 8. This is the vertex. So A is 8. So B square is 64 A square minus C square, which is 25. 64 minus 25 is 39. So the equation is X square over plus Y square over equals 1. Below X, I have 8 square, 64. Below Y square, I have the 39, which is B square. And that's this is the equation. Here, the foci are 0, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So C is 4, 0, 7 is the, force, the vertices or one of the vertices. So A is 7. So B square as usual, A square, which is 7 square, 49, minus 4 square, which is 16, and 49 minus 16 is 33. So the equation is x square over y square over equals 1. Now below y square, I have 7 square, which is 49, and 33 will be here. And this would be the equation of the, uh, the, the ellipse. For psi, you just draw the information, 2 and 0. So c is 2 immediately. Vertis in, uh, y intercepts. Good. Pay attention. Now, the y-intercepts. Well, one, two, three. The y-intercept here is what? Is the end point of the minor axis. So, in fact, B is a three. How did I know that? Because the major axis has the foci. So, if the foci are here, so the major axis would be here and the vertices would be here somewhere. So, how to find A square now? A square will be the sum of B square plus C square. So 9 plus 4, 13. So this would be square root of 13, the vertex. So the equations would the equation would be x square over something plus y square over equals 1. Now below x square, I have the a, the vertices, which is 13. And below y square, I have 9, which is b square. So that's this is the equation of the uh, ellipse. Major axis horizontal. This information says that the ellipse is horizontal with length 8. Okay, if the major axis is horizontal, so we have the vertices here. And if the length of is 8, then 2a is 8 because the length of the major axis is always 2a. So a is 4. This is 4 and this is 4. So a is 4. Length of the minor axis is 4. So the minor axis is here, the length of is four, so we have two and two, so B is two. So length of the minor axis is always two B. Length of the major axis is always two A. You divide by two, you get A and B, center zero, zero. So the equation X square plus Y square over equals one. Now below the X axis, we have four, so 16 and here, for this is a square, this is b square, that's the equation of the ellipse. I hope you understand the ellipse with center zero, zero.